When you create a pivot table in Excel, the default layout is compact. So all the headings are in column A. So we have region, city, and store number, and they're all listed in column A, each one slightly indented so they're easier to read. You might prefer to see the layout so that each field has its own column and the headings are all repeated. So here we just see east once and then all the cities in the east region. We're going to change some settings so east would be repeated and we can also make each city name repeated beside its store numbers. First thing is to change the layout that the report uses. So I'm selecting a cell in the pivot table and then on the ribbon under pivot table tools I'll click design. Click report layout. Right now the table is in compact form. We can use either outline form and you can see it has a little heading with blank beside it or tabular form which has the heading right beside the first row of data. So I'll click outline form. So we still have our heading in a separate row. It's in a separate column now. So the region is in A, then city in B, and store is in C. The next thing we're going to do is show these labels repeating in every row. And to do that, we'll go back to the Design tab on the ribbon, and again to Report Layout, and click Repeat All Item Labels. And now East is listed in each row, and the City is also in each row, and then the Store beside it. To turn these off, you can go back up to Report Layout, and say do not repeat item labels. The other thing you can do is just turn on that setting for one field. To do that you can right click on one of the region names, go to field settings, on the layout and print tab click repeat item labels and click OK. So now just the regions are repeated in every row but the city field has not changed.